course. Douchebag. Uh, follow me. Yeah, follow me. Yeah, really gruff voice there, dude. So you make boats? Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. <laughs> Alright. Yo, oh, this is ten bucks. It's probably heavy as shit. Even you had it off. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? Can I speed up a little bit? No. All right. I wonder if there's like a tro. I wonder if there's like an achievement for uh doing all these. All right, fuck this. I'm done. I've had enough at two. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. I think you make more than 10 bucks working for LP Incorporated. <gasps> All right. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want to load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't going to cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. He might not be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, hey, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. 
I need someone to give him a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it in the Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. <clears throat> I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. Hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe and you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. Yeah! Oh crap, you went and swinging. Come on now, fight like a man! Oh, that's a taunt? Really? Alright, wait, hold on, stop for a second. On, I, didn't, I didn't expect you to be this tough. Oh. Oh. Ah. Here's your fucking money. Oh, I thought. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. Are you gonna give me hey, a pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. How about you? Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. It's a big guy. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Alright. <laughs> oh, that's gotta hurt, man. What? Big dude. Kill him! Whoop his ass! Jack is fucking out. Come on, rub it up. Rub it up again. Rub it up. Okay, that wasn't a rub it up. That was me getting my ass. Watch out! You wanna get up? Get up! Get up! It can't give me a B prompt and I still didn't press it. Got one. Ooh, nice kick. I win. Okay. Anybody else? Got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? I win, and I got the money. I only made 50 bucks, but... Sure is all better than doing that crate job. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Hey, say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. Hey, Vito. I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants uh, you should meet him at Freddy's. Oh, I got $100. He who pays the barber. I don't, uh... I... 
think I made it to this point in the in the actual like when I was playing it just randomly. So I think uh, we're going to see some new stuff. Always good. We haven't really met any uh, mobsters. We've only met uh, Joe, which I guess is a mobster. I mean, we haven't made, seen any uh, made men. Unless Joe's a made man. Possibility is. Luckily this car isn't wanted by the cops, or else it would be screwed. So it's been two days and I made four hundred dollars actually. That's That's pretty good money for two days. In a month I can make I'm not doing that math, I'm just talking math. Also we still have the metric system on, but I haven't yet to see it actually implicated. Better than the Imperial system, I can tell you that. But then, yeah, I'm no good at the Imperial system. Out of, uh, of measurements. All I know is that, like, it's... That the metric system is supposed to be a lot better than the Imperial system that we use today. The metric system is something they use over in, like, like Italy and Europe. Yes, I know Italy is in Europe. That's the whole region. Yes, I know. If you wonder at my uh, geometry, geography, though I know words and regions of maps. I just realized what. Why are like, input obeying the speed ball? Oh yeah, because if I speed, the fucking cops will be on my ass. I asked myself a question and answered that question. Same question. Ah, well. I'm Tokyo drifting. I'm Tokyo drifting. Freddy's bar's lights just fucking randomly showed up. Right. Yeah, my car, you're dead. Briefcase there. Hello. No, it's not. It's some dock worker. Where is he upstairs? Oh, he was. Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah. Why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shuttle. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hi, you, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen. I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth a fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I say you. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got be. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back here and we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. luck, Vito. All right. Drive to Maria Angelino's place. I'll Italy. see you around. 
Was my car on? No, it wasn't. I don't think they really care about the... Is that a gas station? What, can I fill up on gas? Well, there's no gas meter. I like that about Matt. Uh, I don't have Mad Max in the game, but I've seen like some play that I've seen uh, uh, Ray from a, uh, or X, used to be from a Chief Hunter, uh, playing Mad Max. I like the fuel uh, aspect of the game. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. I, I want that implicated in games like this, where you can run out of fuel, or uh, turning signals, and crap like that. Yeah, that's right. I parked on the wrong side. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Also, this isn't where she lives. Don't I look foolish? That's where she lives. <clears throat> Alright. This car is a freaking mess. Also, that snow on it, it wasn't like I thought it was. Alright. She lives here. Yeah, let me kick the door. Check the door so I find a very easy apartment. Uh, oh, that was easy. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, hello ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. He said you might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Rice Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're going to be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. Come on, let's go. See, the, the other people have to lock the doors, I don't. Also, how long were we in there? Where are my busted up cars right over here? Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, alright? I've seen the way you kids drive these days. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get in through the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back. Then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful, there's guards in there. 